Now, uh, I would like to uh, give the word to Professor Kay Tatum. She will introduce uh, our awards for this year. And um, Kay has been with the university for a while. She's an associate professor of accounting. She uh, focuses on auditing and, and she's been even in several uh, standard setting bodies. And she serves as the vice chair for external relations uh, since uh, 2018. So without further ado, I uh, pass the word to Kay. Thank you. Thank you, Miguel. The award presentation has been an integral part of the forum since uh, the first forum in 2014. Uh, the department, uh, you know, thinks it's a special part of the forum because it gives us the opportunity to recognize former students, now our alums, who've had successes and also gets us a chance to recognize uh, some of our faculty who've also had successes. Uh, so today, it's my pleasure to uh, first present uh, an award for our outstanding alum. Uh, I'm pleased to announce that, announce that the outstand, outstanding alum uh, for 2020 is Kim Griffin Hunter. Um, Kim is the managing partner of Deloitte, South Florida. Uh, as far as getting to that point, uh, I'd like to provide you a little bit of background about Kim. Um, she started in her accounting uh, at the University of Miami. She has a Bachelor's of Business Administration, 1988, uh, the uh, MBA, 1995. Uh, I think it's interesting to read that some of her first memories of the University of Miami are coming to campus uh, with her mother, uh, who was an educator and was working in her master's at the University of Miami. Uh, Kim says she connected to the campus at that point, so when she was applying to universities. University of Miami was one of them, and we're so happy that uh, she uh, accepted uh, the uh, offer to come to the University of Miami. Another note on that, uh, one of Kim's son is presently a student at the University of Miami in the business school, a finance major. So I kind of like the story of uh, three generations, uh, all Canes. As far as starting at Deloitte, Kim says that she, um, you know, had an opportunity to interview at Miami with many excellent firms and companies, but the, the culture at Deloitte was a good fit for her. Uh, so she accepted uh, the entry-level entry position at Deloitte, uh, and she's been there ever since. Uh, as I said, she's today managing partner of the South Florida uh, offices, that includes Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Boca, uh, West Palm Beach. She uh, oversees 600 people, so it's a, a big responsibility. Uh, and she's also served on the firm's management committee. So um, uh, I guess, you know, as I look at it, it truly has been a, a career path for her. Uh, as far as her path, she started in the traditional uh, audit uh, path, but as she Moved on in her career, she uh, developed uh, an expertise, a special interest in the health services and life sciences area. Um, she uh, also moved from the traditional audit more into advisory services, and so has been active uh, you know, in many types of services, including even mergers and acquisitions uh, in the uh, healthcare field. Um, as I've read about Kim, because she's been in the news a lot lately, in particular since her appointment in January 2019 as managing partner, uh, a couple of things really emerged. Um, I saw how important Kim views uh, community engagement. And when I say community engagement, you know, I could see wherever she's been, whether it's the University of Miami and she was active in a social sorority, whether, uh, you know, she's, uh, at Deloitte, she's active in the management committee, uh, the uh, professional accounting community. She's, uh, you know, active in the Florida Institute of CPAs in the healthcare field. She's been active in the Healthcare Financial Management Association, uh, also active in the National Association of Black Accountants and many other, you know, civic and uh, areas in Miami, things like the uh, Orange Bowl Committee. So it's, uh, her engagement uh, has been impressive. And then one last thing, uh, I noticed also that 
she's a big believer in mentorship. And uh, she just said, you know, along the way, she believes that mentoring is so important. And she said, uh, simply put, and this is a quote, I try to find the time to do it every day, sometimes in small ways, and sometimes in large ways, it all matters. So it's truly my honor and pleasure to present the 2020 Alumni Award to Kim Griffin Hunter. Thank you, Dr. Tatum. Thank you very much for the honor and the prestige of this award. And um, well, you did great remembering about my mom and going on campus. I think you and I oh. talked about that. And I can only say Dr. Tatum because she was actually one of my professors. So it's amazing <laughs> when your professor is now recognizing you um, for an award. So it just makes me smile and humbled. And um, I want to say thank you to the entire university staff um, for this prestigious award and recognition. You know, when you wake up in the morning, you know, as you see behind me, I say, be kind. And so I just thank you for being kind and being kind to our community. Making an impact that matters requires a great education. And if we look at what's going on around the world and our country, we all need to make an impact, but you can't make it without education. And having two sons, one in college and one in high school, I understand the difference a great education um, makes and everyone doesn't have the opportunity. So I am blessed that I had the um, opportunity and that my mom had the opportunity to get a master's and now my son is in college. But I say for those out there that have the opportunity to help another kid, help a student, help them come along, that's what we all need to do. My role as managing partner is not about the title. It's not about, you know, I'm leading hundreds of people. It really is being able to give back and have the ability to bring the next generation, to hire students and to mentor students. And as the accounting field evolves um, from the traditional where I was using paper and pen and, and big charts, and now we're using computers and data analytics, there's a new skill set that is required which means we have opportunities to bring students who non-traditionally were not interested in accounting. So I think it's important that we continue to promote the profession, um, promote the difference that we're making in society, on um, what we do, and promote that we can help with the disparities that happen for people who are underrepresented in this profession. I think that's a big deal. Um, they need to know this is something that is op an open opportunity, but they need mentorship and they need all of you. So I wanted to say thank you from the bottom of my heart on behalf of my family and my firm Deloitte, and I appreciate everything you do. Go Canes! <laughs> thank you, Kim. Uh, beautiful comments from, uh, you know, like you said, your uh, mother, the education, uh, today's environment. So uh, thank you so much for accepting our award. Thank you. You're welcome. At this point, I'm going to move to uh, a second award. Uh, this is one that I get to present to one of my colleagues. Uh, it's the uh, Accounting Faculty of the Year Award, and the award goes to uh, Christina Bochke. Uh, before I, you know, pass the screen to Christina, I'd like to tell you a little bit about Christina. Uh, Christina joined the uh, University of Miami accounting faculty in 2014 uh, after receiving her PhD in accounting from Rutgers University. Uh, since joining the faculty, she has developed a distinguished record in research, in teaching, and in service. With respect to research, uh, her, she works in a variety of areas and it's because her research expertise is textual analysis. So if you'll look at some of the topics, she's uh, looked at uh, earnings announcements, how investors are using information. She's looked at CEO disclosure styles, uh, uh, disclosures and going concern opinions. Uh, so it's a wide variety of interesting and important topics, uh, but that uh, you know, characteristic of textual analysis runs through that. Uh, with respect to the publications, she has had four publications, three out of the four are in the Accounting Review, which is one of the top three academic uh, journals. Uh, just to emphasize how important that is, 
there are many people who go through their entire career and never have a publication in the accounting review. Uh, and she has three. And actually, if you look at her in progress list, there's also a conditional acceptance for a fourth one in the accounting review. So it's an incredible record. Uh, as a tribute to her, uh, you know, research, she's invited to uh, conferences and uh, to seminars to present her papers and to teach her research technique. Uh, just in the last year, she has presented uh, here in the U.S. at Wharton uh, and also internationally presented at Cambridge in the U.K. So really some prestigious uh, institutions. So we're very proud of her that she's out there presenting. Uh, that's the research. Uh, so sometimes someone's good at research but not good at something else. But Christina excels in the classroom. Uh, since arriving at the University of Miami, she's taught uh, cost accounting, uh, which it's not my area, but I'm glad it's Christina's because uh, she's received excellent evaluations. Uh, if you look at the evaluations over the six years, uh, the instructor ratings have gone from 4.4 to 4.9, with five being the top score. So the scores are excellent. And in fact, is uh, was pointed out earlier, she uh, just this past spring was winner of the 2020 uh, Most Outstanding Teacher Award. And keep in mind, that's not most outstanding in accounting. That was, you know, across the business school department. So that's, you know, outstanding over management, marketing, and finance. So we were so excited and so proud of her. Um, with respect to just the overall, um, you know, I'd say service to the department, uh, I was talking with my friend and colleague, uh, Chris, uh, Deanna Falsetta, and uh, she wrapped it up this way. So I just want to quote what uh, Deanna said. She said, what makes Christina so special is her supportive and collegial manner, including mentoring and working with doctoral students, working with faculty on research papers, and sharing online teaching best practices. Christina's office door is always open, and usually a student is sitting across from her desk, eagerly listening to her words of wisdom. Christina, congratulations on being the 2020 uh, Outstanding Faculty. Yeah, the, okay, so I'm un unmuted. Thank you so much, Kay. It's, it's a great honor to receive this award, and being a junior member of the department, I understand completely that I don't deserve this award. But this award to me demonstrates, and to everyone should demonstrate, how supporting our department is, starting from our department chair and other faculty, and also ending with our excellent graduate and undergraduate students. As Kay mentioned, I have been at the University of Miami for almost six years now, and all this time I had no other feeling but the feeling that UM is my family. And I'm not just saying this right now to look nice on the screen, screen or something. Those, those of you who know me, who, who saw me at conferences and meetings, they, they, they know that I always, I am always very vocal about saying that UM is the best, the best place to work. And this award uh, only encourages me to work harder, to push harder, to help others, to mentor others, to what we say, pay it forward so other people can be more successful. I wish everyone a, a productive and healthy, most importantly, healthy year ahead. And I thank everyone who supported me. I thank everyone for mentoring me over the past six years. Uh, you are my family, so thank you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> thank you, Christina, uh, just for your kind comments there, your observations uh, about the university, both professionally and as a family. And again, a very deserving recipient. So Thank congratulations. You. Thank you. At this point, I have a third award to present. And if I can imagine, uh, Daniel Medina in the background is now scrambling because he doesn't know about the third award. At least I don't think he does. So uh, uh, this year we've added, uh, a third award. It's uh, the Outstanding Service Award, uh, and it's being presented to Daniel Medina. Uh, a little bit of background on this. Um, 
Daniel, um, you know, is the director of the uh, accounting programs, the graduate accounting programs uh, at the University of Miami. In that position, he oversees uh, the admissions, the curriculum, uh, clearing students for graduation. Uh, during the time that, uh, you know, the students are there, he's there available for advising. Uh, the, the students connect with Daniel and, and it shows as far as his uh, teaching expertise. He teaches uh, in the graduate accounting program. He teaches the forensic accounting and fraud examination course. Uh, it fills to the course limit. Typically there's a waiting list to get in and it's well received by the students. In fact, the last two years, the masters in accounting classes of 2019 and 2020 have voted him the Outstanding Teacher Award. Uh, so uh, he's been successful in that. Uh, with respect to the connection to the students, I thought it was um, interesting that, uh, again, I, I reached out to uh, Deanna Falsetta, you know, I said, Deanna, would you like to make a comment about uh, Daniel? And, you know, she, when she was in the position of Vice Chair of the Department, she worked uh, closely with him along with Professor Sundarish Ramna. Uh, and she came back because Daniel, actually his undergraduate and master's degree are from FIU, from Florida International University. But here's what she's had to say about Daniel. She said, Daniel is a true cane and mentor to our accounting students. Under normal non-socialing distance times, uh, there's, a link of there's a line of students outside his office waiting for school or career advice, or even just to talk about this week's football game. There's a reason students gravitate towards him. It's no secret, he cares. That's from more the student's perspective, but I would just like to add that in my position as vice chair, I've had the opportunity to work with Daniel on many, many projects. Uh, this forum is one of them, the uh, newsletter is a second one. We also have worked together on the uh, Accounting Advisory Council and now the new Young Leaders Group. And in particular, since he's there recruiting students and placing students, you're gonna find Daniel uh, actively involved in things like next week's uh, Meet the Firms event, the uh, Career Fair, and um, I'm sure I'm leaving something out. Uh, it's, uh, you know, just kind of a personal story. And this is about his caring, not just about the students, but also about his colleagues in the department. About a year ago this time, I was on my way to class, the last day of class, it was student presentations. Uh, and as some of you know, I take a ferry to get to the mainland and then go to campus. Uh, as the ferry was in the middle of government cut, it blew an engine, according to the captain. And we sat out there for an hour. At some point, I realized I wasn't going to make it to class, so I called Daniel. He was at the university. I said, Daniel, could you just go let the students know I'm not going to be there today? He said, sure, Kay. And he said, oh, what are you covering? And when I told him it was a pres presentation, he said, that sounds interesting. I'll go cover the presentations. I did make it to class just right before it ended, but it was a, it was a, a good environment, a positive environment. So uh, I could see why the students elected him outstanding faculty. And uh, from my perspective, he is a great colleague. Uh, with respect to the service this year, just all the things I mentioned, Daniel has uh, continued to contribute on those. So uh, it's my pleasure to recognize Professor Daniel Menina for the 2020 Outstanding Service Award. Daniel, are you there? Yes, I'm here. And um, <laughs> <laughs> definitely caught me by surprise. Kay, thank you. Uh, I'm humbled. Uh, you mentioned I'm um, technically education-wise not in, but uh, I do bleed orange and green. I'm, again, very humbled. Uh, and I appreciate um, this recognition. And as Christina mentioned before, um, this is a testament to our department. Uh, I'm not kind of the guy that likes getting pats on the back or being in the front lines and being noticed. I'm more of a behind the scenes kind of person. Um, I do everything I do for my colleagues, for my students. Um, and I appreciate that you guys are, are have recognized me. So thank you. Um, again, very humbled, very honored and happy to be here. Love my job, love my students, love my colleagues. So thank you, Kay. Thank you, everybody. Well, again, congratulations, Daniel.
And at this point, uh, I'm going to pass the screen, I believe, to, I think it's Emmanuel DeGeorge. Do I have that correct? Correct. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Kay. And congrats to, uh, oh, can you hear me? Yeah. Very good. All right. Thanks. Uh, so congrats to uh, Daniel and Christina. Uh, so I'm going to, I'll keep it fairly brief because I know we probably all want to get to the uh, main event here. But I just want to talk a little bit about the uh, Young Leaders Group. So uh, my name is Emmanuel DeGeorge. I joined Miami from the London Business School in 2019. I've been a part of the Young Leaders Group since 2020 as a faculty liaison. So the Young Leaders Group was formed, I think, in about 2018 with uh, 16 initial members. And it was really the goal of bringing together a dedicated group of uh, you know, Miami accounting alum, recent graduates uh, to work closely with us here in the accounting group and also to build up our programs and introduce students to uh, career paths in accounting. So it's very much member led group. Uh, we now have 23 very dedicated uh, young alumni members. Uh, they run several academic events per year where, you know, the, the goal is to engage with uh, freshmen, uh, sophomores to expose them, like I said, to careers in accounting and our programs. But more importantly, and this is what's really great about the YLG, they get the real world perspective from a recent UM graduate that was literally in their shoes, you know, a few years before. So for them, you know, in that respect, it's pretty invaluable. Uh, our members also obviously get to represent their firms, which is mutually beneficial for everyone. It builds our recruiting network and it also fosters stronger links between uh, the Miami Harbor Business School here and the broader uh, business community. So they really are our best uh, ambassadors. So to that end, we have a YLG Young Alumni uh, Award, which we're sort of going to recognize. And this is recognizing a recent uh, alum that has demonstrated outstanding contributions, obviously to our community here, leadership, dedication, and of course made an impact um, in their professional career. So we ask our YLG members to nominate someone and a worthy recipient is chosen. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to uh, Robbie, who's been with the YLG since inception, actually, to announce uh, this year's winner. So Robbie, all yours. Thank you very much, Manuel. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Robert Chisty, and I'm an audit senior at Kaufman Rawson, based out of our uh, Miami offices. Um, as as uh, Emmanuel mentioned, I'm a proud member of the Young Leaders Group, and I've greatly enjoyed continuing to make the connection between um, our current UM students and the young professionals in the industry throughout South Florida. Um, I'm truly honored to present uh, this year's Young Leaders Group Alumna of the Year to Christy Velasco. Um, Christy is currently a Vice President at Inter-American Bank. She's a double cane and obtained her Bachelor's in Accounting in 2011 and her Master's in Accounting in 2012. Uh, she's been extremely active within our group, both on and off the campus, and is a true ambassador uh, to the Miami Herbert business school accounting community and the University of Miami at large. Um, her efforts in speaking to students directly in the classroom and providing her authentic feedback to students at the UM alumni accounting panel event um, have really inspired students towards continued success in both their academic and personal endeavors, which is really the main goal of our group. Um, so just wanted to say congratulations, Christy, and thank you very much for your hard work this year and your dedication um, to the Young Leaders Group. Christy, I don't think we're hearing you. Yeah, we can hear you, Christy. No. Maybe join on your phone.
so we're having some technical difficulties. Let's uh, give her one minute and see if she logs back on and can say some thank yous. Yeah, I think we can hear her now. Can you? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think my microphone on the actual computer was off, not on the Zoom. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, no, um, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for selecting me. Um, I'm very grateful for, um, you know, for everyone voting for me and um, I'm happy to be part of the Young Leaders Group um, since the beginning actually with Robbie. Um, and, you know, I'm always happy to help UM and, um, you know, I've been a cane uh, my whole life. My dad went to UM, my sisters have gone to UM also in the accounting department. Um, and, you know, I'm always happy to continue helping and speaking to students in the class and, um, you know, when, whenever I can. And I think the Young Leaders Group has really, you know, helped with um, students and um, actually learning a little more about how it is now working um, in, in accounting and, you know, even after um, the firms as well. So thank you. And um, I look forward to continuing um, being part of the group. Thank you, Christy, and uh, congratulations again. Um, and, and now I, I would like to uh, introduce um, over Professor uh, Christina ba uh, Bochke, who she's going to be the moderator for today's panel discussion, and uh, we will get started. So um, thank you very much, everybody, for your time, and go Canes. 